Oh. Oh, it is recording. Okay, good. Hello, it is I, your friendly neighborhood adult actress, Danica Denali. <laughs> the girl next door. <laughs> so, it's a little bit chilly in Southeast Texas today, and I decided to wear my My Free Cams mini sweatshirt. The mini. Stops right there. This thing is super soft and surprisingly warm. I'm all comfy. <laughs> so I asked you guys via Twitter and Instagram to provide me with a bunch of questions for me to answer and boy did y'all come through. I have a ton of questions here. So how about we just go ahead and get started. <laughs> Gaming. Last time you had some good questions, so this time you came through as well. Um, his question is, what did I do before the adult industry? Um, I worked a couple of office jobs. I was mostly in um, HOA management. <laughs> Everybody hates the HOA, but that was me. I was the one who drove around and handed out violations. <laughs> I was nobody's friend. Um, that did not last long. I, I am no good in an office setting. Um, I don't like being told what to do. I don't like having rules to follow. I, I mean, every aspect of it. I did not like getting there at a certain time every day and having to stay all day and can't leave. It was really just not for me, among other things I did that we're not going to talk about here. <laughs> After that, I basically just was a stay-at-home mom pretty much because during the economy crash of 2008, I became pregnant. <laughs> so I stayed home with that baby and watched other people's babies at the same time. And that is what I did for about the next seven or eight years. Wow. That was a long time. But during that time, I um, also stumbled into nude modeling, I guess you could say. And that snowballed into what I do now. Um, Christoph also wants to know, will I do ASMR? I'm working on that. <laughs> so, yes. Christoph also wants to know who my celebrity crush is. Um, I have two. Actually, I have three. Okay, I have them all. <laughs> no, but my three main ones are, um, number one would be Brendan Fraser. I don't know what it is about him. He's so freaking goofy. And I just, I find him hilarious and, and I love him. So if you're listening, Brendan Fraser, um, I'm not available, but I could be. <laughs> don't tell my husband. Um, my number two would be Bradley Cooper. He's so dreamy. Um, and then my number three is Justin Timberlake. He's on like everybody's list. <laughs> so those are my celebrity crushes <laughs> in a nutshell. <laughs> Zezo, or Zezo, I don't know how to say your name exactly. He wants to know how much do I like performing? I really like it. I think I was absolutely made for being for performing whether it was in the adult industry or another type of industry somewhere I am a performer I love it um, there's just nothing else I'd rather be doing I mean clearly I left for two years and I came right back like I really really missed it when I was gone and I'm so glad I was welcomed back with open arms because I really love it. <laughs> Jermaine wants to know if I've lost any family or friends because of my choice of work. Uh, the answer there is yes. I don't exactly consider it a loss though. Um, for me, it's more like um, I was able to identify the toxic people in my life and remove them. So, I mean, if anybody has a problem with me and what I do personally in my own life, that's not about me. That's about them. And I can't do anything to change them. I can only work on myself. If they can't handle that, that's not on me. So, 
Bye bye. <laughs> Basically. Um, Boo, who has a much longer Twitter name than that, that I'm not even going to try to pronounce, <laughs> wants to know what made me get involved in the industry. Um, basically it was just chance. Chance made me get involved. Um, I started with just posting a bunch of pictures on modeling websites and photographers would reach out to me and I would take you know, photos with them. And I decided to start trying to make money off of my pictures and the adult industry just like <laughs> swarmed in and scooped me up. And, and I said, yes, <laughs> I accepted their invitations. That's pretty much how it happened. I didn't seek it out. I didn't, you know, apply it just fell in my lap Bron bronio fan brainio fan i don't know how to say that either wants to know how are you doing <laughs> i am excellent thank you so much for asking <laughs> all right um fod wants to know what changed my mind about <clears throat> um about, um, I don't know how else to say this, so I'm just going to say EJ. And he waited and no one else asked me. Um, people have asked. <laughs> it was in my last video, I think, actually. But I will say it again, what changed my mind about it. In any industry you're in, you don't want to go full 110% right from the beginning, right? So, um... There were certain things that I wanted to hold back on, and that just happened to be one of them. Um, to be honest, and I'm probably going to crush a lot of dreams here, it's not my favorite thing to do. So it was an easy decision to not do it in the beginning. Um, but to continue on and add a little bit of extra to coming back, I decided to incorporate that into my regime. Liz wants to know, what is my fantasy? Um, I really, I really don't know. That is a very hard question for me to answer because honestly, my fantasy all the time was just being watched. I wanted to be watched. I wanted to be seen. And um, <laughs> that's, been happening now for a long time so I've pretty much lived my fantasy <laughs> uh, you also want to know what's next on my sexual bucket list that I don't know <laughs> this question is really hard to answer I just I don't know what's next um, I don't know <laughs> let's see uh, Something, I, don't, I can't read my own writing. Something and comic books. Sorry, I messed that up. He wants to know, how did I get into gardening? That is a fantastic question. <laughs> I've always had a green thumb. I've loved growing flowers and plants. And um, I've just always been into it. And the more I learned, the more I wanted to, you know, grow. So I've grown all kinds of things. Um, I have a pretty large garden in my backyard. It's, I think it's 10 by eight, but some parts are a little, it's like a, an E, capital E, but I've loved it my entire life. It's one of my favorite things to do. Trevor, Trevor has a lot of questions. <coughs> so he wants to know what's my favorite thing to wear to bed. Um, I literally, okay, so I put my, my sweatshirt on over my jammies, what I usually wear to bed. So I walk around the house in these like really soft, light cotton pants. And then I wear to bed these little strappy tops with like, um, a sports bra underneath. That's, ugh. What I wear to bed <laughs> every single day 
I just take a shower and change into a different sports bra and strappy top. That's it. Wants to know how do I relax and wind down after an evening out? Um, I don't have a lot of evenings out. I'm pretty much a homebody. I stay home and we watch movies and play games with our kids and stuff. So I don't really go out. But um, when I do go out, I don't really need to wind down when I get home because I'm so exhausted. I just go right to bed. <laughs> do I like to sleep in? Uh, yeah, definitely. I love to sleep in and I love to take naps. I do that just about every day. <laughs> um, what would I do if I won the lottery? Ooh, that is a great question. I am so money driven. I love this question. How much I win, really? Um, but I would most definitely pay off all my debt first. That's 100% what I do. I would love to be able to just live off of the money that I make and not have to pay anything other than utility bills. That would be fantastic. Uh, I would probably also get some kind of solar panels on my house so that I don't even have to pay a utility bill because <laughs> that would be cool too. Um, I would mostly do fun things. I'd travel. I, we'd take our kids everywhere. I, I want my children to experience the world. I still, as an adult, haven't been able to experience the world. One day I will. <laughs> but that's what I would do if I won the lottery. And then um, probably donate to charities, like animal charities mostly. Trevor's last question is, what is my idea of an evening out from start to end? Um, my ideal evening out, like I really like just going out to dinner, um, maybe going to a movie or um, some if it's nice outside some like town center where you get you can do like a whole bunch of different things and you know walk around and window shop basically but um i love doing that i'm not into the clubbing scene at all i don't want to go clubbing i don't like dancing i don't like any of that i um like relaxing things <laughs> so after that, just coming home and relaxing. Basically, I'm so easygoing. Uh, Eliza May, hey girl. She asks, what facet of the industry is the most empowering? For me, it would have to be, um, that is a really hard question. Uh, I would say it's, in general, just, successfully capitalizing on my body. Does that make sense? Um, being able to use what I was given as a means to make money, that's incredibly powerful for me. Um, I've always been a sexual person my entire life. <laughs> and just the fact that I can now use that to my advantage is extremely empowering. <laughs> Let's see, Dr. Paco, he wants to know if it's possible for me to do more scenes during the year because he wants to download all my scenes. <laughs> um, I mean, it's possible. I can shoot my own content, which I do, and I'm really trying a lot harder this year to get to all the events. I haven't been able to travel to all the events before, um, mainly just because of the fact that I'm a mom and I'd have to find suitable babysitting for my children and um, my husband wasn't in a position to be able to take off for so many days, uh, but now he is. And so I'm going to be traveling a lot more and shooting with a lot more talent all around the U.S. Hopefully that will bring in, um, you know, hopefully that will satisfy your need for more. And last but not least, Max. He wants to know if there's any company I haven't worked with that I would like to work with. Yes, there are so many companies out there. Um, so I've already worked with Sensational Video via Plumper Pass. I've worked with The Score Group via XL Girls and Voluptuous. I've been in all their magazines. 
Um, I've worked with, who else have I worked with? Um, Pure BBW. I've worked with Diamond Net Media. I've worked with Groovy Photos and a bunch of other photographers as well, but I'm not going to call them out here because um, they do a whole bunch of other things, including like children's events. <laughs> so I don't want to like make them uncomfortable and stuff. But I have a list of the companies I would love to work with. And I mean, it's not limited to just these. This is just everybody who I could think of off the top of my head. So um, Shape of Beauty, for sure. I would most definitely love to work with them. Um, Brie Mills is amazing. I love everything she's ever done. And um, I would be completely honored to shoot with Shape of Beauty. That would be fantastic. Um, also Brazzers, of course, Reality Kings, Bang Bros. I would love to shoot with all of those people. Um, Rodney Moore and Scale Busting Babes. That one would be fantastic. Um, Evil Angel, Hustler Video, Jules Jordan, Naughty America. Um, even Wicked Pictures. I would love to shoot with everybody. I want to shoot with everybody. It would be fantastic if we could make that happen. <laughs> if, if I'm lucky. <laughs> Well, that was all of the questions I got. Um, if I had my phone anywhere near me, I would go through Twitter and Instagram and check and see if anybody left anymore. But instead of doing that, I am going to just write those down for my next Q&A session. So hopefully you guys can think of more questions and put them in the comments so that I can write them down and read them next time. I promise I am really going to try to do more videos. I know they are so few and far between and I'm sorry, <laughs> but between making my content and camming and traveling to shoot and all this other stuff, I'm just so busy all the time. I mean, I have to edit my own content too. It's really, it's a lot of work. Until next time, thank you for watching. Um, leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, because I'm really trying to get this monetization thing going. Um, also, if you have any questions, you know, leave them in the comments. But um, if you want, like, any links or whatever, you can always find me at Twitter, and you can always find me at Instagram, and um, you can just DM me there. And there's also a list of all my links on my Twitter and on my Instagram. <laughs> Thank you.